Unit Three: The Midnight Library. Alternative Lives in Pages. November seventh. The Midnight Library exists in a transitional space between life and death, with the clock frozen at midnight. It's filled with infinite books, each containing a different version of Nora's life based on choices she might have made. Nora is offered the opportunity to explore these alternative lives. If satisfied, she can live out that life until her natural death. If not, she automatically returns to the library. However, each life can be entered just once. Failure to find a desirable life could lead to her actual death, along with the library's destruction. After accustoming herself to this surreal setting, Nora ventures into the unchosen paths. In one, she's an Olympic swimming champion and doesn't disappoint her father. However, she finds herself seeing a psychologist and taking antidepressant medication. In another life, she exploits her musical talent, becoming a rock star and performing concerts with her band. This journey ends abruptly when she discovers that Joe had already died due to drug abuse. After numerous attempts. Nora lands in what seems to be the ideal life. Here, she's a cherished wife and mother, and passionately pursues her philosophical career. Despite her alternative choices, she maintains a close relationship with Joe and Izzy. This life seems perfect on the surface, but it leaves Nora wrestling with a question: Does this life truly belong to her? Even though she is drawn to this version of her life, she finds herself back in the Midnight Library. As she returns, she observes the library beginning to fall apart, and the hands of the clock starting to move.